stay tuned because at the end of this video I am doing a giveaway. And if you went to BroadwayCon, you're gonna want to enter this giveaway. And if you didn't, you still might be curious about what it is. So. Hey, I'm Jenny and I'm going to be showing you my Playbill collection. Now I know that things have been really Broadway musical theater centric on this channel lately, but BroadwayCon was such a fun time. One thing surprised me, which was the respect I got. Um, I was terrified to go dressed as a cat. There were a few rude people, but overall people were really cool about it. And people would come up to me and they would say, you know, Cats isn't my favorite musical, or, or I don't actually like that musical, but your costume is amazing. Respect. And that's all I ask for. It's been a part of my life for so long and it's only brought me anything but just excitement and joy and it just it means so much to me that someone telling me it's a terrible musical isn't gonna make me go oh you know it is I agree with you like no I'm not and I'm not gonna change your opinion either like I'm not trying to say it's great you should like it because I don't care if you like it or not and the people who came up to me and said that they did love the musical cats and they were excited for the revival and they couldn't wait you need to talk to me, tweet me, because we should be friends and we should go together because I need someone to go with. Now that we've got that thought that's been clouding my brain lately out of my head, let's move on to playbills. So I collect playbills, but only really from the shows that I've seen. Um, and I also collect other programs from shows that don't have playbills. I think usually it's a magazine called Performances, um, but there's some others too. And I really don't know the difference I know they're like different publications, but I don't know when something gets a playbill and when it doesn't, if it's the deal that the show made or if it's a difference between tours and regional, but I've had tours give out playbills, so I don't really know if that's something that you know. Feel free to tell me in the comments, it'd be really cool to learn about that. Let's start off with my playbills. Now I got this binder off of Amazon and this sheet's inside. You can probably get it at Target, but it's a perfect size for your playbills. Now going to start at the back so we can go in chronological order. Um, these are extras and such and these are tickets that don't have playbills attached to them because they're so old that I don't know if we kept them or where they ended up. This is actually from recently, it was from 2010, Next to Normal at the Amundsen. I don't even know if it had a playbill or a performances or whatever it had, but I don't have it. But I have the ticket, so that's something I saw then. This is The Lion King. I've seen The Lion King, I think twice, maybe three times. This is the first time, 2001, at the Pantages. Uh, this isn't really a playbill. This is my playbill that I made for my production of Cats in 2000. But I keep it here because I love it. Okay, this is just a Tony Awards playbill, probably given with a other playbill from something else. This is a Mary Poppins ticket for the West End Prince Edward Theatre in London. In 2007, this actually does have a Playbill-ish thing. It's not a Playbill, though. This is what they gave us, this, like, really fancy program. And I think London theaters do this sometimes, where they have this really nice sort of Playbill. Now, this wasn't the um, program, which you can buy. This is this is what they just give you. So now I have the tickets behind. Hairspray. This is when I saw Hairspray, the Neil Simon Theater on Broadway. This was the first Broadway show I ever saw in 2003. Um, Starlet Express ticket. Starlet Express at the Pantages Theater in 2004. These are the 3D glasses because they have 3D glasses because it's a 3D show in the touring production of Starlight. I wish I could have seen this in London when they actually had like the track. Ugh. Okay, Mamma Mia. Don't have tickets, but Pantages Theater. I've seen Mamma Mia like three times, um, unintentionally. Just happened to have people say you want to go see Mamma Mia, and it's like okay. But I do like it. It's a fun show. Um, Wicked at the Pantages in 2005. I think this is the first time I saw Wicked. Um, quite fun. Good show. Uh, 
Phantom of the Opera in 2006 at the Majestic Theatre. Now this, this is on Broadway. This, I've seen Phantom once before. I don't know if that's a playbill or not. That, uh, the first time I saw Phantom I was in, I think, the sixth grade with my class. This was the second time I saw it. It was on Broadway. I went with my sister and her theater group to New York City. I saw five Broadway musicals in four days. And this was Avenue Q as a matinee. I saw Rent. I bought tickets the night of. This was like our free night. You could do whatever you want. I decided to see another show. So I saw Rent and Avenue Q the same day. It was a good day. Wicked at the Gershwin. This is actually the first one we saw right after we got off the airplane. Then there is Spamalot at the Shoebart. And we did stage door this one, I think because of certain actors who were in it. What's this? Cats! At the Pantages. Now I've seen Cats six times. Um, and this isn't the first time by any means, but it's the first playbill I have. Twice at the Pantages, twice at the Orange County Performing Arts Center, once at the La Mirada Performing Arts Center, I believe, and then once in London. This was one of the Pantages times. I went with my mom and then to that same tour, I think only a week later, I got rush tickets with my friend because you can never get too much cats if you're me. <laughs> um, maybe you can if you're not me. Um, let's see. Avenue Q, New York City at the New World Stages. This was when I went to New York City with Jim and we saw our friend Joe get married. Here is Vita at the Pantages. This is Wicked for the third time. I don't like Wicked as much as I've seen it, but you know, it's a fine musical. I went with Jim's family a year ago. This is Newsies. Jim's family's great. They always invite me to go see musicals with them, and it always makes me so happy. School of Rock, Winter Garden Theater. This was last weekend, and yes, we staged doored it, and there's so many children that signed it. It was so cool. I, I picked it because I love the movie and I love Andrew and Lloyd Webber and it was amazing. This is not actually a show, it is my Broadway Con playbill which is basically the program for the convention but it is a playbill so I put it in here and then after Broadway Con was over I went and saw Les Mis at the Imperial Theater and staged or it as well. Oh and also I was very glad I saw it that night because that very night Lin-Manuel Miranda, the creator and star of Hamilton, which theater is next door to the Imperial, was in it. At least his voice was, as the loud hailer. And let me tell you, me and my friend recognized his voice, but did not believe it could be him. We just thought we were hearing things. Till, at the stage door, and we were getting all of these, one of the young girl's moms, I think maybe Cosette's mom, basically spilled the beans and told us to keep it a secret till the Ham for Ham video on Wednesday came out. So... That was exciting. We didn't meet him or anything, but but he we were at the performance that he was in, and that's just fun. Okay, moving on. Going back in time a little bit to the first time I saw Phantom of the Opera. Now, this wasn't the first musical I saw. I saw Beauty and the Beast when I was in about the fourth grade. I don't have any tickets or programs from that at all, because I was in the fourth grade, so I probably gave them to my mom and she threw them away. But... The next year, in 1997, I was in, I believe it was the fifth grade, we went and saw Phantom of the Opera at the Curtain Theater. I don't even know where that is, but it's, oh, it's on, no, it says Pantages. That's this curtain. That says Pantages. That says February 1997. That says October 1997. So I believe we went to the Pantages. I don't know why I have one that says Curtain. But anyways, Phantom was the first show that really, really got me really into musical theater and Andrew Lloyd Webber and sort of set the stage for this sort of love of mine. So thank you to my fourth and fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Hood. It is all your fault. Um, Mamma Mia at the Amundsen. This is probably the first time I saw Mamma Mia because I've seen it three times. So... Uh, yeah, it's kind of like Wicked, where I keep seeing it because people keep inviting me to it, and I like it, I'm all for it, but it's not something I would probably pay full price to see that many times, so, yeah. Oliver at the Kodak Theater, this was in 2003, my dad's friend Tim works in the industry in Los Angeles, 
for theaters and he gets his stuff sometimes. So thank you, Tim, if you happen to be watching. You're responsible for a lot of shows I have seen. A chorus line. Now I saw this with my cousin Diana who went with me to Broadway Con. So thank you, Diana. I think she had season tickets to the Amundsen and brought me with her to a chorus line. Fun fact, Michael Grubber starred as the I don't know the characters in this, but the 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 guy who was auditioning them, who was often a voice off screen, but sometimes he would or off off screen. I'm a film person. Off stage. But sometimes he was on stage, and Michael Grubber is monkey strap in the video production of Cats, so it was kind of like, oh my gosh. And I wanted to stage door that, and I wanted to meet him, but Diana wanted to go home, and she was my ride, so we didn't. Sad, but that's okay. It was a good show. Kodak Theater again for A Christmas Carol. This starred a few known celebrities, including Christopher Lloyd, who had not memorized his lines. So that was very funny and sad and entertaining and awkward all at the same time. Oh, interesting. I don't believe it was a musical though. I don't remember. Almondson Theatre. This was a play, Neil Simon's The Sunshine Boys, and yes, that is Danny DeVito. I was invited to this for my friend Whitney, and we went and we watched it. And it was really great. So thank you, Whitney, for inviting me to see this play with you. And then here is Into the Woods at the Wallace Anningberg Center for the Performing Arts. And I went to this with Vince, who invited me. And this was in 2014, so about two years ago. The way they did it made it really cool, and I was really enjoying it. So that one was quite fun to see. And then we will rock you at the Amundsen. I went to this one with Vince as well. I've been wanting to see this musical since I saw it being advertised in London. I almost saw it in London because my family wanted to see Mary Poppins and my dad offered to see We Will Rock You with me and we split up but I didn't want to split the family up so I said no we'll all go see Mary Poppins and I regret it because Mary Poppins was okay at best but this show even the tour at the Amundsen was so good and maybe it's because I love Queen and I love jukebox musicals and I love punk rock post-apocalyptic fantasy cheesiness but oh my goodness I was freaking obsessed with this and I almost dressed up as the character Scaramouche to Broadway Con but then I couldn't remember if Real Rocky was ever on Broadway. I believe it was. I, I just, I, I didn't, and I wish I had the time to have made that costume because this is one of my favorites. Orange County Performing Arts, May 2003. Why are these things so out of order? Okay, anyways, these things are kind of out of order, but this was the second time I saw Cats. I saw it with my friends who did the performance with me. We went together. It was beautiful. The seats kind of sucked though. Um, this, okay, this is from the first time I saw Cats. This is from London. Like the Mary Poppins one, it's not a playbill and it's not a performance. It's, it's this sort of just beautiful, uh, almost a program playbill that is, they give you and it's just so lovely and yes, so this, this is very important. Orange County Performing Arts Center, this was the third time I saw Cats. I went with Peter from the Cats Costume Discussion Board, a friend at the time. We went in costume, which was weird and I don't think I'm ever going to do that again, but it was also kind of fun because a lot of the cast thought we were awesome, some didn't want to make eye contact. It happened. It's in the past. This was in 2008. And this is one of the Mistopheles streamers that I kept. Anyways, I'm not nuts. It's okay. Uh, and then this was the most recent time I saw Cats at the La Mirada Theatre for the Performing Arts. It was a regional production. Jim took me for my birthday, which is a big deal because he does not like this musical. But we're married. See how I can get along with people who don't like it? I married a man who doesn't like this, and it's okay. Time for the giveaway! What I'm giving away is one BroadwayCon button pack. Now these are buttons that I made referencing things that happen at BroadwayCon, either on the main stage or things that were just set around the con. They're inside jokes, so I apologize if you didn't go. I can explain in detail what they're referencing if you want. 
it's up to you, really. Um, I'm making a second BroadwayCon button pack, and those will be released tomorrow, so the winner gets to pick if they want pack number one or pack number two. The contest officially starts tomorrow. It is on my blog, nerdy-monsters.com. It's a new blog for my Etsy shop and for handmade business, and I'm so excited to announce it. So head on over there tomorrow. There will be so many different options of how you can enter. Now you don't have to do all of them, but pick the ones that are the social media platforms you most frequently visit. One, you definitely have to be subscribed to this channel because it's for you guys, it's for you wonderful people that watch these videos. Uh, and then you also have to leave a blog comment, I believe. And then there's other optional entries. So it'll be going on t for a week. It will end next Thursday. So the winner will be chosen shortly after that. Um, enter if you want. It'd be cool. Unfortunately, I can only ship to the U.S. So if you win, you have to live in the U.S. or it has to be shipped to the U.S. So I apologize for that. But if you're not in the U.S. and you're looking at these buttons, you can order them on my shop. I will ship them outside of the U.S. if you order them from Etsy. So there is that. Giveaway, super exciting, Broadway con, playbills, musicals, yes. See you next week. Love the things you love. Meow.